you've obviously given a lot of done a lot of research, given a lot of thought to a lot of issues. Uh, many of us who watched the debates found them, uh, while they're very entertaining, not very satisfying in terms of giving the candidates a chance to reflect their right. research and their thought on, on any issue. Um, there's at least one candidate out there who would like to see single issue debates. Yeah. If a number of other candidates were willing to peel away from the DMC and say, hey, we're going to go off and do our own thing that's more meaningful to us and the voters, is that something you would consider? Yes. I mean, you, you can probably tell I like talking to voters about how I feel about things. I think I've got the most workable solutions. I've figured out how to pay for them. Like with this gentleman, I just said how I paid for infrastructure and EITC. I, you know, I, I've got everything paid for. Um, and um, I also have a plan to get them done. And so I would love to have more, as, I, I would love to engage as much as possible. I think what they should have done in the debates is they should have asked us all five questions on health care, on education, on workers and tax policy, on climate, you know, and maybe on one other issue. And we all should have been able to have a minute to answer five questions that were all the same. So that you, the voters, would actually see, okay, at least I have a sense as to where all these folks stand on the big issues. And then they could have had any kind of free-for-all, like let's sell ratings as much as possible debate they want. But, you know, that to me is what I, but you know, what do I know? Uh, I just talk to voters all the time. And, you know, when I talk to voters, there, there's not one of these sessions that goes by that education doesn't come up, or health care doesn't come up, or tax policy around workers doesn't come up. So I don't see why they didn't let us all at least answer this question. Because like on the young man's question on student debt, you know, we all have a different view. I just told you what I would have done. I would have had to compact it down to 60 seconds, but I would have. Other people would have laid out their things, and you all could say, okay, I get where they all stand on student debt. But the thing you got to remember about these debates, which is why I think some of these single-issue debates are important, the real question is not what do you want to do. Pretty much everyone on those stages thinks educate cost of college is a problem. Everyone thinks health care is a problem. Everyone wants to reform our immigration system. Everyone thinks climate is a problem. Go down the list. All of us hated the Bush, the uh, GOP tax cuts. We're all kind of in the same spot. The real question voters should ask is, okay, how are you going to get it done? How are you going to get it done? That, to me, that comes out of the longer debate. So then you got the opportunity to say, okay, well, how are you going to get it done? What are you going to use executive authority for versus what are you going to have to go through Congress on? You know, and I think the people running for president ought to say how they'll do it. Because I, I, that's one thing I've really thought through, is how I build infrastructure, how I lower student debts, and how I think I can build the kind of coalitions to get it done. But I'm, I committed the other day to, to, the, to the climate debate when I was in Des Moines at the event. So. 